Good morning. Welcome Sham Stars in continuation of chapter 13 today we will talk about Allen's rule and altitude sickness. In previous video students we have studied about adaptations and different types of adaptations. In this video we will talk about Allen's rule and altitude sickness. Mammals from colder climates generally have shorter ears and limbs to minimize heat loss and this is called Allen's rule. In polar seas aquatic mammals like seals have a thick layer of fat that is blubber below their skin that acts as an insulator and reduces loss of body heat. Let's talk about altitude sickness. At high altitude places like Rohtang Pass near Manali in China occupied Tibet people suffer from altitude sickness. Its symptoms are nausea and heart palpitations this is because at low atmospheric pressure of high altitudes body does not get enough oxygen the relief occurs gradually due to acclimatization the body cope up with the low oxygen stress by increasing rbc production that is red blood corpuscles decreasing the binding affinity of hemoglobin increasing the breathing rate It is due to altered physiology in response to low concentration of atmospheric oxygen. Let's take one more example that is adaptations in desert lizards. It shows behavioral response. They absorb heat from the sun when their body temperature drops below the comfort zone. They move into shed when the ambient temperature starts increasing. Some species burrow into the soil and escape from the above ground heat so children this is all about adaptations in different organisms i hope you must have understood in next video we will talk about population the second topic of this chapter thank you sham stars that's all for today you can drop your queries on google classroom take care